Hi, so my name's Tim Crabtree. I'm going to be facilitating or helping to facilitate this module the next week. Um, so just brief background about myself. I teach part-time on an economics master's programme at Schumacher College and I work for a social enterprise called Wessex Community Assets and we're involved in supporting communities around affordable housing, renewable energy and local food systems. So with this week, um, again bringing it back to these two frames that we're using, um, so Palanyi in The Great Transformation talks about this double movement and I think that um, food is one of those areas where we've seen a real um, kind of pushback uh, against the, the sort of implementation of neoliberal policies and practice over the last 40 or 50 years. And um, I think one of the reasons for that is fairly obvious that uh, whereas it might take five years to do a housing development, uh, actually we all eat usually three times a day and we can begin to build uh, food initiatives around those, uh, <laughs> those three times a day. So certainly for me that was the case. I, the last thing I was involved with was working with schools, uh, setting up a uh, not-for-profit school meal service uh, using local and organic food and local employment. Um, but we've seen all over the world uh, different types of uh, bottom-up food initiative that push back against the, uh, the dominance of the uh, kind of agribusiness world and everything that supports that. And then again, you know, we can see it through the, the lens of the, uh, the, the transition framework. So, you know, we, we have these uh, initiatives at a local level, um, many of which were quite, are quite innovative, um, operating in niches, but then they start to uh, connect up together um, in lots of different ways. And clearly again, they're then supported sometimes by policies that seek to promote agroecology or organic food or local food. And so I think food is a really good example of seeing both this uh, double movement of pushback uh, by communities and individual farmers, but also things operating at these three levels and, and the, necess the necessity uh, of us all working at those three levels. I think, again, as I say, food is, it's kind of relatively more easy to uh, develop initiatives in this sphere, but those initiatives are going to be very small and marginal unless we find ways to connect them up together. And hopefully uh, going through the resources in this module will give you some inspiration for the kind of things that we can do practically at a local level, but also some inspiration for the way that we can connect these initiatives together and also seek to influence uh, policy so that the, the landscape within which we're operating in is more supportive of what we want to do.